In my previous life, I was two years in the military censorship, so I can understand very well to their heart. Uh, it seems that it's a very sensitive issue, and it, uh, it has uh, a lot to deal with diplomacy, and uh, very subtle diplomacy about a very sensitive issue. So what, what can be said today is what, uh, what it is not. We are not talking about the return of remains of the soldiers of uh, Feldman and Katz. We are not talking about Hun Arad. We are not talking about, uh, about uh, Eli Cohen. We are not talking about these. We are talking uh, about issues that today are very limited for us to, uh, to speak about. What, what is left after that? The, the, it... Well, there, there are lots of things that are left, and uh, we cannot elaborate on that. And definitely it has to do with, uh, with the tripartite relations between Israel, Syria, and Russia. And I remind you that uh, two weeks ago there was rumors that uh, were uh, that circulated in the Arab world concerning meetings of uh, Israeli officers and Syrian officers in the in the Russian base of Hamamim. Uh, and uh, because of that, Hezbollah was very fur furious about uh, these uh, these rumors, and they be and they leaked information about uh, the uh, the ammonium nitrate in Beirut, saying that these were people who were very close to Assad, who were the ones that has come and, uh, uh, asked for the for the sh that shipment to be in Beirut. And uh, um, the, the military censorship, as, as far as uh, uh, Israel is concerned, is very, very strict about it. No matter what this issue is, it, at least for the time being, it remains completely undisclosed. Well, let's wait for the New York Times. Let's wait for uh, the uh, international papers, who will certainly be briefed. And this is how uh, the Israeli public most probably will know about what's going on there. Uh, uh, the the reports uh, clearly state a humanitarian issue. That is why uh, uh, names of all these uh, uh, if Israeli prisoners or, or Israeli uh, uh, Israeli missing in action. That's why it surfaced. Uh, how can we be sure that it's not that? What, what what other humanitarian issue could it be? Well, you know, humanitarian is a title. You know, uh, 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 the, the thing is that I don't understand why this uh, cabinet meeting was publicized and what uh, why. why was such a build-up given, and I think that uh, things could have been uh, continued to be, uh, I mean, under uh, under the table and uh, negotiations, whatever they are there, and without the, the public being in the, being involved. And uh, maybe it was the uh, uh, the uh, apprehension that uh, that this issue would be leaked to the press that uh, forced the, the, the Netanyahu and Gantz to convene the, the government and make all the ministers sign a, sign a, a, a confidentiality. Uh, uh, in the uh, commitment uh, about what's uh, what's going on. So th this is very weird. Th this is unusual in the Israeli politics, but this is what it is. So we'll have just to wait and see what's uh, uh, how it evolves.